Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for iOS. In this week's Mac show, I went through the process of setting up a WordPress blog on a self-hosted web account. In this episode of the iOS show, I'm going to take a look at using the official WordPress app on iOS to both manage and update the blog. So head across to the App Store and do a quick search for WordPress and you'll find many, many applications that deal with uh, publishing blog posts to WordPress. Uh, I'm going to stick with the official one for today though. To be honest, I've not really had much chance to check out the other applications. I may do that over the next couple of months and then feed that back into you. But for now, I'm just going to cover the official WordPress application. So there is a version for both iPad and iPhone. I'm on the iPad as usual. I'm going to go ahead and just tap open. Now, if you have followed me on the Mac show, you'll see that I created a WordPress blog over at seodemo.co.uk. Uh, using a SiteGround account, I used a, a very low cost uh, sort of web hosting account to set up the WordPress blog. And that's now sitting there and I can access this from my iPad. The WordPress app itself isn't spectacular, I have to say. It basically gives you uh, some tools to allow you to look at other WordPress blogs to set it up so that you can manage your own WordPress blog and also post to it. But uh, it's fairly limited in its approach, but it's worth going through just to check it out. So the four icons across the bottom, the first one is the reader icon, which is the one we're currently on. We're not following any sites as yet. If you do want to use it as a reader, you can tap on the tag up in the top corner. Uh, blogs I follow, well, I'm not following any as of yet. Freshly pressed blogs, it will go away and it will pull out some articles from various blogs that you can have a look at. Uh, if we go back to tags, you can also have a look at posts I like. I haven't liked any as of yet, but um, that's no big deal. If you swipe across, you'll see there are some lists of different types of blogs that you can follow as well. So if I want to find out some family blogs, okay, I can actually go through and read some of those. We just tap on reader to go back again and tap on the tag at the top. Uh, if you want to, you can go in and have a look at friends. So just tap on the button in the bottom corner. You can find friends from your address book, from Twitter and from Facebook. So these are all friends that also might have WordPress blogs that they've published. Uh, you can find them that way, but I'll just go back to there and we'll say close. Notifications, we won't receive any notifications as of yet. I've not set up my blog. So to do that, let me just tap on the me icon. And because I've not set this up, it's now prompting me to enter my wordpress.com account details. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14 day, no obligation, free trial screencasts online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14 day free trial membership. <laughs> 